jumping over, gotta suck this one in. Whoa! Oh, I almost died again, dude. That's my second time tonight. She is. That's scary. Boom. Good job, dude. <laughs> Brayden just learned how to do buttercups. So, how, hey, how many have you done now? 20. 20. That's a lot more than I was thinking he was going to say. <laughs> but we are over here at Temecula Skate Park tonight, and I have an actual pretty good idea. I got a little bit of a, uh, a test tonight. We're testing out like the cheapest Envy wheels, and I want to see how strong they actually are and if they can withstand a whole bunch of tricks here at Temecula Skate Park. Now, there's a lot of things here that require a lot of pressure on wheels. For example, we got a couple drops over here. We got this big hip that I really like to jump. And I land like right about here and that's a lot of pressure on your wheels. So we're gonna find out tonight how strong the cheapest Envy wheels actually are. But before we do all that, we gotta warm up. All right, line number one of the night is gonna be a 360 bar spin over this first box, straight into the double heel whip over the pyramid, and then we'll go up and I wanna jump the pyramid to the roller gap. All right, so dropping in, like I said, first trick is gonna be a 360 bar. Now we gotta cruise over this way, Get the double heel up on this side and this is the gap that we're gonna be doing right here it's actually a really scary gap but it's a lot of fun if you can do it right of course if you screw it up not fun at all jumping over gotta suck this one in whoa oh i almost died again dude that's my second time tonight you got it though yeah but barely <laughs> okay well let's let's get a little comeback from that let's drop in and get a quick backy on this one because this is always a lot of fun how about a quick flare on this Yo, I'm not kidding you guys. I almost freaking got sent on that gap over there. I almost died. I like jumped and I couldn't control how much I was going forward. Was not good at all. Yo, I don't know what exploded right here, but it doesn't look like it was very pretty. Do you know what that was? Axe bomb. Was it really? It looks like wax that someone just tossed down because it melted and just exploded. So this is actually my second time being here at this park today. But when I was here earlier, I actually forgot my camera, which was super struggle street. But when I was here earlier, this dude actually went to jump this gap that I'll actually do right now. So he was going down right here. He jumped up and as he got to this spot, he landed. He had some Gucci slides on. His feet came out of the slides and he face planted so freaking hard. I'm really, really glad he's okay because it was really scary and he was sleeping. He was snoring. All right, here we go. Bar, bar, bar. Bar. Give me a trick to do fly out. Flip, flip, whip. flip whip? Flip whip to people. Nope. Oh, people on that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So flip whip, land, then people. Yeah. Okay, that I can do. <laughs> Whoa, homie. Where are you going? I was going to take you out. <laughs> All right, let's get this flip whip really fast. It wasn't a feeble, it was a salad, but that counts, right? Yes, sir. Yes. I got to flip double now. You think I got to flip double first try? Yeah. Good, because I think you got it first try too. <laughs> He was not excited on that little remark. All right, flip double. That one was a feeble. Bar. Excuse me, mate. I'm just going right straight in front of you. Oh, goodness. Oh, dang it. I tried to hold it. Let's try it again. Maybe we'll throw a bar in the beginning anyway. Whoa, Jesus. There we go. It worked, thankfully. I want to clean up that gap really quick because I don't want to leave it at that because that was really nasty. She was dirty. Oh God, I almost just fell riding with one hand. All right, here we go, again. That was better. That one I didn't even get close to dying, thank God. All right, I think I'm ready to throw these wheels on and see how they're feeling. Okay, so here are the wheels that we're putting on. They are the NV1 wheels. The pink ones are the only ones that I have, but at least they'll stand out. Hey, they'll match my grips. I actually am kind of confident in them. I think they're gonna last throughout the rest of my session, which unfortunately is not that long because we got here late. <laughs> Wheel number one going on. Get my axle through, but I can't because I'm a noob. Come on, right? There we go. How long did it take you to learn buttercups? That's what I wanna know. Let's see, so I learned it at Summer League and then I got it here. So I mean, I think it took me about four months because I learned the motion and then I started trying it on the quarter down there. I just sort of sent it at Summer League because they have like an eight foot quarter and I got it in about five or six tries. If I told you, try it five times, how many times did you land it? Or 10? Uh Okay, probably about seven out of the ten tries. Oh, okay, so that's actually yeah, pretty seven. good, especially yeah. if you're just learning it. That's yeah. awesome. Come on, stupid. Oh, I just got my hoodie so dirty. Dang it. Look at this. Bruh. Struggle street. Wheels are both 
officially on. Let's try these things out. Okay, so we have the wheels on right here. Again, these are the NV1 wheels in pink, and they're 100 millimeters, but they're actually in, still an 86A urethane, so they're the same hardness as my wheels, but they're not the same formula, at least I don't think. I, I could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure they're not because they don't feel like when I actually ride it. Being that they are a 100 millimeter wheel, they're a lot slower than my 120s, but they still work really well, so that, that's a plus regardless. But I wanna see if they can handle some of the bigger drops that we're gonna do tonight, and like I said earlier, Earlier, mainly like that hip over there so let's go give that a shot and see how it works while we're on our way I should let you guys know that we did just recently restock in all of the mint doodle hoodies sorry that mine's a little bit dirty right now because wheels hit me <laughs> but I swear yours won't show up nearly as dirty as this one and that includes all sizes that's youth medium youth large small medium large and extra large we restocked in every single one we also are restocking in hats gloves should be here in exactly three weeks now I talked to the factory and they're saying in three weeks they should be here in my hands and on my hands and hopefully on yours so don't forget to get all those products on your Christmas list because Christmas is coming up really really quick so here is the drop in for the hip so let's see if this goes well all right so dropping in let's get that quick jump the big like that they handle that pretty well like no problems there whatsoever I want to do it again and I want to go a little bit faster because that one I did hold back a little bit because I mean I am still a little bit nervous these wheels are probably like if I had to take a guess they're probably like 50 bucks for the pair and that's for a brand new pair and they come with bearings again I could be wrong I'm not 100% positive because I haven't seen them in a shop before because I haven't worked in a shop in a long time but if I had to take a guess that's what they would be round two on the hip let's get an invert this time all right drop it in let's get that nice pump and the invert yeah, like no problem at all still like they're still feeling just as fast as they were when I put them on for a cheap wheel This can definitely get you by no problems whatsoever It is a little bit weird when I do whips because they whip so much faster because they're so much lighter than my Lambos Even though the Lambo is an extremely light wheel for its size not nearly as light as these things are so earlier I did a flip double out of this Let's get another one of those and see if they withstand that trick drop it in yeah, no problem still, like this sounds solid. I'm actually pleasantly surprised right now. I've ridden these before and I've done like small tricks, like triple whips, like a couple quad whips and things like that, but it's all been at like Serenity. Never take them to a big park where you can do big drops. We're not gonna do the four block tonight because that's not really even a, like a hard landing because you're landing into a bank, but maybe another night, not tonight. <laughs> how about we try that big gap again? Let's give that another go and see if it works. Yo, look at this though. Look how far away my brake is from the wheel. It's so much further away than when I have my wheel on so when I go to stop it's really weird because I have to push so far thankfully we don't have to slow down on this trick we just have to get as much speed as we can so hopefully it works full sned all right so getting that speed up for it over I landed hard on that like on purpose and still no problem so far these cheap envy wheels are proving to be extremely strong especially for their price how about a quick quad whip on the hip all right dropping in and a quad Thing. I freaking caught the heck out of that one. Whoopee. So in this bold corner, there's like a, a steeper spot in here so you could do flares and there's also like more of a bankish area. So let's get a couple flares on that side and get a lot of pressure on these things. If they explode, the session will be over. <laughs> All right, drop in. Let's do, let's do like, I wanted to get a spot where there's like a little bit of pop. So we did a little bit more on the bull corner than I wanted to, but let's do another one and go a little bit more left, just a little bit. I did land really hard on that back wheel right there. So actually I do want to take a peek at it really fast. Nothing. Nada. We haven't even scraped off the graphics on the side of them yet. And the bearings are still rolling nice. These are actually the same bearings that I ride in my wheel, so that's really convenient that we have these in here. And it's even more convenient that they're lasting. Hey, do you know what time all the lights showed off here? Four minutes. Four minutes? All right, let's get that flare. That one we landed really hard. It didn't sound good, but... It felt good. I must just hit the side of my deck right there because the wheel is still like, it's brand new. No problems at all. Like the homie said, we only have about three minutes left in here. So let's get a couple tricks over the box over there. Shall we? First one, let's just get a three whip over it. All right, that worked out really nicely. See, and here's why I can kind of tell that these are cheaper wheels because I can't hold my speed nearly as much as I can with my Lambos. Again, not saying they're slow. They're just not nearly as fast as my other wheels. All right, trick number two. Let's just get, let's get a flip, of course. We have to flip it. I'm too much of a flipper not to do it on that ramp, especially with these cheap Envy wheels. All right, drop it in. Let's get that one push going down. Pop, backy. Done. We've probably got like two minutes left in this session, so I, I want to get a couple like hard flat tricks real quick. So I want to get a triple up really fast, see how they do. I only have a couple tries to get this, otherwise I'm screwed. 
That was definitely four. <laughs> Oops, I only meant to do three. Backtrack, right? Backtrack, only three. Solid. Let's do another one really fast. Let's turn around, go right over this line again. Yeah, dude, still solid. For a cheap, cheap, cheap scooter wheel, I feel like these MV1 wheels are actually super, super solid. So if you're in a bit of a pinch, you're trying to get a nice wheel on a budget, check out the MV1 wheels. I'm not sure which shops you can actually get just the wheels at, but I know when you do get just the wheels, they come in like a really cool packaging and you can get stickers with it. I think it comes with bar ends, some tools. It's actually a cool little, little package thing, but yeah, check these things out if you're falling on a budget. And every time I put these wheels on my scoot, they look freaking fire. Like, look at this. I, I love it. I love it so much. But we're going to tune out for the night. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I got to get a thumbnail before these lights turn off. And then we're out of here. So until next time, peace.